Now, many years ago, there was meant to be a Daz and Tupac album. Daz planned to release unreleased Tupac songs that he had in his possession. Daz talked about this Tupac album, this joint album that he was going to drop, featuring songs that he had of Park that he had produced for Park back on his stay on Death Row, and even talked about setting a release date. He had a release date for this album, and it actually was the cause for, from what I've been told, that in Daz going into hiding and leaving the state he was in, and I think he had he headed off to Atlanta to get away from Suge Knight, who was after Daz for Daz being in possession of property that belonged to Death Row at the time, which was these unreleased Tupac songs. Now, what I've heard is that Suge Knight paid. Daz's ex-girlfriend, who Daz was seeing at the time, to go undercover for Suge and take the unreleased songs, which were on these DAT files, these big cassettes at the time, and bring them back to Suge Knight. So Suge Knight offered this woman money to get her hands on Daz's tapes, misappropriated tapes, allegedly, and bring them back to Suge Knight, who claimed that they were his property. So this woman went after the tapes. She went out with Daz, got her hands on the tapes, or so the story goes. And then one day, when Daz let his guard down, she went, took the tapes, and brought them back to Suge Knight. Now that resulted in Daz only releasing from what I remember, one song featuring Park's vocals on an album that he did eventually drop, which I think, if, the, if I remember correctly, the song was called Only Move for the Money, but there was meant to be a, a, a slate of unreleased songs from Park that were meant to be on the album that never turned up. A lot of people were really disappointed with the album and said, you know, well, this wasn't what Daz was claiming it to be that there were no unreleased, you know, there were you know, all these songs that Daz talked about previously that they didn't show up on the album when it was eventually released. And this is why I think the reason being because Suge got the stolen tapes of Park's acapellas back in his possession meaning Daz didn't have the tapes to release. So I'm pretty sure that this happened, you know, I've, I've heard from several sources that this is how it went down, and that is why Daz never released his unreleased Tupac songs, because they were reclaimed by Suge Knight through a third party that tricked Daz, and... I, I don't know if those songs turned up on projects like Loyal to the Game and Park's Life, but chances are those songs have already been released. A lot of songs, a lot of previously unreleased Tupac songs that were talked about at the time, you know, now have been released. But does Shug have unreleased Park songs? Who knows? I'm, I've heard that he does. I've been told that he does. Whether they will ever be released is another story because the estate really has ownership of those park vocals now. So I don't think they'll they'll be released legally, as in distributed through stores. I think if those tapes turn up in the right hands, that they you know they'll make their way back to the estate, then they have a chance of being released. But apart from that, the only chance that they'll be released is if people leak them online in their raw form but this is what i've heard anyway this is you know please sub to the channel if you like what i do i'm mc rapology share like subscribe peace